Today I am sharing several of my favorite read alouds that you can use during your money unit. So I want to know, let me know in the comments if you currently use read alouds in your math block or if you've never thought about using them in math, let me know. These are a read alouds for math. They are great for introducing or just reviewing a concept. It allows your students to see a concept that they're learning in a different perspective. And kids, you know, obviously, you know, they love stories and they love pictures and illustrations. So why not incorporate and integrate multiple subjects into our math block? And so today I'm going to be sharing lots of my favorite books about money. And so hopefully you can find um, a book or two that you like here. And um, all of the books that I'm going to share today, they are linked in the description above. You can find all of them um, in my Amazon store, or I also have them all linked in a blog post as well. So you can find those links above. All right, the first book that I am going to share with you guys is called The Coin Counting Book by Roseanne Williams. This is probably my favorite book when it comes to teaching money. I always like to actually begin my money unit with this coin counting book. It's one of my favorites. It's perfect for introducing the values of coins. The pictures are really clear. It does a really good job um, explaining, you know, different ways to, whoops, the different ways to represent a specific value. It shows um, different combinations to represent different values throughout the book. And so as you read and progress throughout the book, the counting coins, the value increases. So the coin counting book, this is, this one's my absolute favorite. Then I like the Penny Pot by Stuart J. Murphy. This is part of his Math Start series. I absolutely love his Math Start books. If you have not heard of Stuart Murphy or if you do not own any of his books, this is a great one. So this Provide, the Penny Pot provides um, lots of real life situations and scenarios that you can talk to with your students when it comes to identifying and reinforcing concepts about money. And it's really, really easy for students to relate to the concepts within this book. So this is a great one. It's The Penny Pot by Stuart J. Murphy. Then I really like this one. This one's funny. It is called Once Upon a Dime, A Math Adventure by Nancy Allen. And this one is about a farmer who discovers that money grows on trees at his farm. And it's really fun. The kids always laugh at it. And it's a great, fun concept that provides a great way for your students to make connections while they're learning about money. So this one's a really fun one. The next one I'm going to share is Everything Money. This is by National Geographic. And this one is just fun because it is full of facts and photos and fun of different types of money like all over the world. The pictures are phenomenal. Obviously, it's from National Geographic, so it's going to be amazing. But there's just lots of really cool things in it. And so I wouldn't necessarily use this particular one to teach with, but this is a great one to have um, on hand so that your kids can, you know, um, read it and look at it independently. Uh, next is going to be Pigs Will Be Pigs by Amy Alexander. And I <laughs> love this one. This is another really funny story that always makes kids laugh. So it's about a pig family and they decide that they're going to go out to eat because they don't have any food in their house. And so they get ready to go out to eat and then they realize that they don't have any money to go out to eat. And so what they do is they go on this hunt throughout their house to try to find money so that they can go out to dinner. And so this one, it's really fun. And then they can, once they collect their money, it's a great way to have conversations and figure out, okay, what can the pigs afford to buy a dinner and what can they not? So this is a really good one and it's fun too. Uh, next is called Lemonade in Winter. 
And this is a cute story. It's about two kids who try and decide to sell lemonade during the middle of winter. And it does a really good job teaching kids about early business skills along with there's lots of representations with counting quarters within this book. So this can be a great addition to your money unit as well. And then the last book that I am going to share with you is called How to Speak Money by Brian Williams. And what I love about this one is that this book in particular really focuses on vocabulary words. I will say that probably ideally this is more for upper grades, but it does a great job, like I said, talking about vocabulary, especially when you get to the point where you're teaching personal and financial literacy. But like I'll show you, just kind of give you some examples. So it talks about what money is, what can you use it for. Um, it talks about budgeting, what is a, an expense, what is profit. I'm just going to kind of flip through. Introduces what a debit card is, what is savings, and so forth. And you can see here, like, it's definitely going to get into some vocabulary words that are definitely going to be for upper grades, but it's not going to hurt your students to be exposed to these words. So this is a great one, especially, you know, to focus on vocabulary words. So I am going to, um, I'm going to link all of these books that I just shared. I'm going to link these in the description above. And if you have another book that you have used in your money unit, I would love to hear about it. I'm always looking for books to add to my collection, especially if they have to do with math. So if you have a book about money, a recommendation, leave it in the comments and let me know. And I would love to know which, if you own any of these books that I shared, you know, which one is your favorite? Or if you decide, you know, to go grab one or two for your classroom, let me know that too. If you've got any other questions, let me know. And you guys have a blessed one. Bye.